And today I'm going to do a set of joists the old way with a bit of herringbone. It's quite rare that we do herringbone now, everyone does solid bridging. So, um, but these are traditional joists, we've got 9v2s up there. I mean, 20 years ago TGI's come in, we quite often use eco joists, but this builder still does it the old proper way, traditional, and a uh, nice bit of 9v2s and herringbone, so we're going to get on with that. Do you remember your 21st birthday, Dan? Oh, Rod, yeah. yeah. I remember my 40th, I think my 21st was better. I was uh -huh. in a nightclub in London, SW1. I should think it's a block of flats now or something like that. These are all 400 centres. Old school. Some of them eco joists, we put them at 600 centres. I can't believe, obviously a structural engineer's worked it out, but it doesn't seem right to me. In the older days, doing this, the plumber would come and notch all the joists ready. Wouldn't they be the copper? Now with all the plastics about. Yeah, just uh, straight they through. They just bend it straight round. So it's through, through from below. Yeah. It's way better. The other thing that used to happen on our sites, the plumber would get the drawing round the wrong way. Because <laughs> it's the ended building. Yeah, yeah. And then he'd do all the notches, and then well, you've got to move a wall when there's a notch there and the pipe's coming out in the wrong place, so to speak. First one 50 mil off the wall, so you got any services or anything? You've got a bit of room now. No, they're all singles. All single, uh, trimmer. There's a treble, that trimmer. It's a free yeah, pie. Yeah, they're all singles going out that oh, way. Right. Yeah. Oh, of course, you're going to walk shows on that. Yeah, night, yeah. 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 I batten down the middle just to hold them, but these are not looking a little bit twisty, but uh, I think it's a change to work with a nice dry bit of timber, not soaking wet in the rain. I'll throw a few scatter balls up and throw it there. Mm -hmm. I'm just about to ping a line straight down the middle of all the joists. The old chop line. I'm going to ping another line down now to set the herringbone out. So the joists are 225 roughly, just under 224. So I'm going to knock a little bit off. So I'm going to ping the line uh, about 215, I think I'm going to do it. 215. These two lines that we pinged, that's 215. That's a little bit less than the depth of the joist. So now I've sort of created a square, which is the, or a rectangle, which is the same as it is down there. That's the same sort of rectangle. Okay. Then all we simply do is lay our bone in on there, and we go from that point there to that point there, and just draw it underneath. Now, when I first started, we didn't have the power tools to um, get the chop saw out and just cut them. We all cut them by hand. Oh, I've got a big knot in that one. Let's turn that round. So I want to cut a few by hand. And that's it there. And you have one bit of bone in.
<laughs> yes, I'm doing. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'll send you a pitch later. You got your two bone in. If if it does shrink, it just yeah. That's gonna that's gonna shrink down with it, yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. And it's just self tightening. But it's, as you say, like any suspension bridges and everything, it's all yeah. All uh, Dartford yeah. Bridge has got all the wires yeah. for tension, so. <laughs> Next thing, the site agent says, no phones, mate. And then when you got yours, he rings you up and says, it does favour me. <laughs> <isn't it?" laughs> Because one of them like, locked the door, yeah, went, went to the site agent, he's a big site. Yeah. Went to the site, he's come back and someone nicked some of his tools. Yeah, yeah. daylight. <laughs> That's the important bit, so that's going to go there, and the block work will go against that, it's cut them real big. The block work will go against that, and that's to lock it all in. Put the metal straps in now. This is for the staircase, yeah? This is for the staircase, yeah. So at 9.50 opening. Mm. 
So I scaled it off and it was about 900, so give it a bit more. Nail guns are a right talking point on the forums. Mm. Got that Makita one, a couple of people went, yeah, it's great, and it's rubbish. The second yeah. fixed one's right. One of the biggest problems with guns, everyone has, is um, gases. Yeah. Pest load is the best gas. A few people say it's got oil in it. Yeah, that's right, lubricant. So yeah. you get cheap gases, and that's your problem of misfiring yeah. and yeah. whatnot. Well, I talked to the guys at Pazload and they said to me, when they take a gun apart, they know everything for service. They can tell what gas was used yep. in it. And also, they know how many bullets it fired. Yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> Good idea. Well, we should have the shoes on, but... Well, yeah, you will do one day. Yeah, not today. I like that idea. That's a tip. It's like a good day's work anyway, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, so we've got a few more drawers to pop in now. Um, we've got the metal straps to go in. I'm going to let them in. That solid noggin's under them. So I cut the straps there and, and that's me done, really. So yeah, When are you coming back to this site, do you reckon? Uh, I'll be back in a couple of weeks, get up to plate, put the trusses on. Um, oh, um, trusses on this one? Trusses on this one, yeah. So I'll be yeah. doing the trusses and doing all the roof. OK. You're going to do the so, second fix here or not? I'm not sure if I can fill it in. So Too busy? Until, yeah. I'll be back on the other job by then. Might have to let somebody else so, do that. Once he's got the roof on, he's quite happy. Like Kelly do all the flooring, stub work. Yeah. It'd just be the second fixing and kitchen. So if I can fit it in, I'll come and do it. But mm -hmm. just depends how we go. Okay, mate. Nice to see Thanks you again. Up. Andrew, Roger, thank you so much. Cheers. Bye, all mate. the best. Cheers, Bye. Thanks.